Dear friends, happy Thanksgiving. 
and welcome to worship here at St. Stephen's United Church. We really are very thrilled that you can take time out of what could be a busy Sunday to worship with us. Friends, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Would you join me in today's call to worship? Praise be to God who created the earth and gives us the harvest. God provides all that we need. Praise be to God who surrounds us with love and strengthens us by the Holy Spirit. God's care never ends. People of God, let us give thanks. Praise be to God. And praise be to God indeed, who gives us life, life everlasting with him. Let's pray together. Lord of all being and source of every blessing, we thank you for all good things, for life and love, for health and food, for work and home, for nature's beauty and comfort, for human skills and laughter, for memory and hope, for everything which gives us pleasure, nourishment, and strength. Amen. Friends, in the midst of our thanksgiving, let us pause in silence to recall how we so often lose sight of the gifts of each day and of their giver. Let us pray. O oh God, we know that we forget about you. We forget to love you. We forget to help our neighbors. We forget to thank you. Forgive us. Grant us clear minds to know you, new hearts to love you, strong hands to serve you. Help us live this day, this week, and always, so that our whole life is a thanksgiving to you. Amen. We are each encouraged to approach God's throne of grace with confidence. We get to speak our heart to God, and God listens. When we ask for forgiveness, we are forgiven, no strings attached. This magnificent God loves us and urges us to move forward with our lives and without the burden of sin. Through grace, we are set free, and I find that quite amazing. Knowing there is COVID among us, if you're in a group watching this, please welcome each other with a no-contact sign of peace. In the name of Christ, who forgives us the peace of Christ. I'll be reading from Hebrews 4, verse 12 to 16. It is from the New Testament of J.B. Phillips. Let us then be eager to know this rest for ourselves, and let us beware that no one misses it through falling into the same kind of unbelief as those we have mentioned. For the word that God speaks is alive, and active. It cuts more keenly 
than any two-edged sword. It strikes through the place where soul and spirit meet to the innermost intimacies of a man's being. It exposes the very thoughts and motives in man's heart. No creature has any cover from the sight of God. Everything lies naked and exposed before the eyes of him with whom we have to do. For our help and comfort, Jesus, the great high priest, seeing that we have a great high priest who has entered the inmost heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to our faith. For we have no superhuman high priest to whom our weakness are unintelligible. He himself has shared fully in all our experience of temptations, except that he has never sinned. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with fullest confidence, and that we may receive mercy for our failures and grace to help in the hour of need. Please pray with me. Lord, give us ears, hearts, and minds to hear and understand your will for us today. Amen. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. This is Diane's last week away and she's asked me to fill in for her and I am always happy to preach. It is a privilege. And it means that I can contribute in a small way to her and Simon having some well-earned time off. It was late July when I agreed to preach today. That's far out how far out the preaching plan is assembled. And I will tell you that I only checked the calendar to see if I was available, not that it was Thanksgiving Sunday. Well, no big deal, right? Then I looked up the lectionary readings for October 13. No big deal indeed. The lectionary readings for this Sunday included five options. I looked at the first one, Psalm 22, and this is how it opens. My God, my God, why have you deserted me? Why do you seem so far away when I need you to save me? Why do you seem so far away that you can't hear my groans? My God, I cry out in the daytime, but you don't answer. I cry out at night, but you don't let me sleep. I thought about Psalm 22 as a theme for today, and then I decided I can't preach on this for Thanksgiving Sunday. It's way too gloomy. Then Psalm 90. Well, that too was a bit harsh. I urge you to look it up. Then there was a reading from Job, and that was a bit of a jolt for Thanksgiving. And the passage from Mark was about how difficult it is for a rich person to enter into heaven. Yipes! Then, as God works, I read the passage you heard this morning from Hebrews, and I knew this was to be the text for this Thanksgiving Sunday. Please don't get me wrong. There is value in wrestling with difficult passages. And in a Bible study, when you can take time to read and discern, experience and share with each other God's teachings for us, well, we are likely to find value in those readings. However, in a 15-minute sermon, perhaps less likely. My intention is to look at the message in Hebrews for us, that is, today, in Qualicum Beach. A message, I believe, of hope 
and promise that urges us to be boldly confident that God has our back and offers us a gift, a gift that we cannot earn, God's grace. It is a message for which I am most thankful. Before we move forward, I want to reflect a bit on what we are thankful for, what you might be thankful for. Over the last few weeks, I've compiled a list of 37 items. It might have grown to more than that if I kept writing them down. The latest entry on my list was thanks for babies and children. It was evoked by a short video we received of our newest family member, Griffin Gilman, bouncing up and down like a leprechaun for the first time in a jolly jumper and laughing, laughing, and laughing. I keep playing it over and over. It is so joy-filled. I am so grateful for the presence of this little one in our family. Here's the video. So fun. Doing it, Mom. So Doing it. So fun. Oh, wee. Oh, get it. Get it, Griffles. <laughs> this is rated for you. <laughs> Is this rated for 28 pound babies? Hey, is this rated for you? I'm having fun, kiddo. <laughs> so, how about you? Can some of you share out loud an item or two that you are thankful for? I'll give you a short while to just speak those thanks out loud to yourself or to those who may be